Okay, so here we are in the second part of a series about looking at Nextcloud again. And this second part, we're going to be fixing some common problems. Sounds interesting? Then let's get started. So in the last part of the video, we upgraded Nextcloud to the latest version. Now had you forgotten to disable the maintenance mode, every time you go to Nextcloud you're going to see this here. So how do we fix that? Well we need to go to our app data, and then go to Nextcloud, then www, Nextcloud, config, and then open and edit the config.php. Now make sure you use a proper text editor. I'm going to use TextMate because I'm using a Mac. But if you're using Windows, use something like Notepad++. Okay, so in the config file, the line that we're looking for is this one here where it says maintenance true. So we need to change the true to false. Now if for any reason you don't see this line here, then just add it into your configuration. And then save the changes and go back to your Docker tab, restart Nextcloud, and then if we go back to the Nextcloud page and refresh it, now we can log in. Okay, so now let's go to Settings and Overview, and here we can see a whole bunch of security and setup warnings. So let's go through these and sort them out one at a time. The ones in orange here are caused by some misconfigurations in the reverse proxy, but the ones underneath these database errors these we can fix inside Nextcloud itself. And it gives us the instructions here to run this OCC command here to add the missing indices, and also a similar command here to fix these columns in the database. Okay, so we need to do this inside the Nextcloud Docker container. So let's go across to the Unraid Web UI and click on Nextcloud and go to console. This will open a terminal inside this container. Now it's important that we run this in the right place. So let's list the files. And we need to go into the config directory. So let's type cd space then config. Again, let's list the files. And now we need to go into the www directory. And again, let's list the files. And there we can see the main Nextcloud directory, this one here. So let's change directory into there. And again, let's list the files. Now this file here is what's going to actually be running this command. But we need to run it as the user abc. So we're going to type in the following command. sudo space hyphen u space abc for our user and then dot forward slash and then occ which is calling on this file here and then with the command following it. This command's in the description so you can copy and paste it in. So just hit enter. Okay so it looks like it's not going to work, so we're going to have to actually modify this file to, to be executable. So let's type chmod space 777 space occ. And now let's try running that command again. Okay, that's better, that's working now. And that's successfully done. So now let's close this window and restart Nextcloud. And then go back to this page and refresh it. And now we can see that first error has been cleared out. Now let's do the same process but running this second command here. So again let's go back and go to a terminal window and we're going to go back to the same folder and let's list the files in here. So again we're going to be running it on this file here. We don't need to actually change the permissions on this now because we've already done that. Okay so now I'm just going to paste in this command very similar to the last one and hit enter. Okay so here it says it can take hours to do so hopefully it's not going to. So we want to continue with the conversion, so I'm going to click yes. I mean actually type Y, not click yes. Okay, so that wasn't ours, that's lucky. So again, let's restart Nextcloud. And go back to the same page and refresh. Okay, so that's good, that's all the database errors corrected. So now all we need to do is fix these two errors here, which we're going to do in our reverse proxy. Okay, so let's go to the Unraid Web UI. And I'm going to stop Let's Encrypt. And now I'm going to open a file browser and go to my app data folder and then to let's encrypt and then into the nginx folder here and here I'm going to go to proxy confs. But before I do, 
Let's just go back to the next cloud web page and we can see here the X frame option is not being set to same origin. Now there's two ways we can actually fix this. We can change something in this SSL config file here and when you make any changes always make sure you use a proper text editor and you see we just enable this by removing the hashtag here. But I'm not actually going to do it that way. I'm going to add the same option into the local proxy configuration file. So let's go into proxy configs here and, and go to the next cloud one here. And in the server block here, you can see here that it adds the configuration from the SSL file that I just showed you. Now, because I don't want to actually change the SSL file, I'm going to add it underneath here. So I'm going to paste in this here. And again, this is in the description. Now I'm going to save the changes. And now I'm going to go back to the Docker tab. And I'm going to stop Nextcloud. And now restart Let's Encrypt. Restart Nextcloud. Now I'm going to go back to the same page on Nextcloud. And just refresh the page now. And there we have the first error gone. Now the second one here, the strict transport security. Let's fix that now. So again, let's go back here and let's stop Nextcloud and stop Let's Encrypt and go back to the same configuration file and edit it again. And now under this line, I'm going to paste in this here. Again, this is in the description and I'm going to save the changes and we can close this now and let's start up Let's Encrypt and start up Nextcloud and we'll go back to the same page in the Nextcloud web UI and refresh the page. Okay, great, all checks passed. We've got a perfectly working Nextcloud instance. And so that brings us to the end of the second part. Now, if you liked it, then please hit the like button. It really does help the videos with the YouTube algorithm. And a big thanks to all of my patrons and supporters who make these videos possible. Thanks a lot, guys. So as it's the end of the video, well, it's time for me to go. But whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good and I'll catch you in the next video.